this lecture we are going to uh, set, uh, do the settings in the grids okay and after that we are going to model uh, the grid in the next lecture so let's see how we are going to do that so first of all uh, right now what i will do is uh, uh, what i will do is i will select uh, i don't need these elevation so i will shift and then again select this one select these elevations so what I'm going to do is I don't need these elevations right now. So I will just simply delete that one and it will tell you, uh, yes, delete V point, delete anyway. So we are going to set these things uh, later. Okay. And after that, you have to select and cover all these elements here. And after that, we are going to delete this one as well. So right now we are at the ground floor and if you want to, uh, create the grid what you can do here is that you can just scroll to this uh, document okay and after that you will get this tool here that is grid element tool you just simply need to click on that one and after that you're going to get these options here okay so if you want to access the setting of this one what you can do is you can just simply select or this one or what you can do is you can just simply uh, type control T from your keyboard and after that this setting will appear so as you can see here that this is the grid element default setting if you look here uh, you will see that this is the grid element line okay you can see that this is the continuous line from uh, this end to this end if you look at this one uh, you will see that this uh, line has uh, is discontinued from one meter line segmented line okay and if you look here, you will see that you are going to only see the end of this grid line. Okay. As you can see here that right in the segment length is not available. So we will stick with this line. Okay. And if you look at the shown story, you can see that all story are selected. It means that uh, if you are going to model this grid in any of the story, we are going to get the same uh, configurations in all these stories. Okay. As you can see here, where we have these stories. And if you look at the marker, you can see you can mark this marker as well. You can see the marker is something like this. So if you only want to see only one side of the marker, you can just untick that one and then you will get rid of that marker. Now this is for the floor plan. Okay. Now if you look at the section and elevation, you will see the configuration is almost same that of the floor plan. Okay. So uh, let's go to the next one. Now here in the naming rule, you can see that you can either go with the custom settings or you can generate the names automatically. As you can see here that this uh, naming will start from A and that will goes up to Z. And here in the style, you can see that we have these options available. We have a numerical value as well. So that's totally dependent on you that what exactly uh, the system do you like. And now let's go to the marker. So if you look at the marker, you will see that we have this marker pen. We have the thickness. We have the text pen thickness and all these things are here. If you want to change this one, you can change that one as well. But right now I'm okay with this setting. After that, we have this uh, text style. So you can see, you can just control the text style. You can choose this one to any of these font. You can see that this is Western. You can change this to any of these. And here you can see you can make this one uh, bold italic underline okay so all these settings you can do in text uh, style and in 3d you can see that we have these things so according to that if you want to make any kind of changes here you can make any kind of changes as per your project or as per your requirement so after setting all these things what i will do is i will just simply click on okay so in the next lecture we are going to see how we can model the grid In this lecture, we are going to draw our grid line, but before that, we, we just need to make some changes in our previous settings. So let's go ahead and do the setting by just typing control T. So if you notice here, you will see that this is the solid line. So right now I want dot, uh, dotted and dashed. That is this one. I'm going to make this line as well as uh, dotted and dashed. Okay. Just like this one. 
and if you look at the color you will see the color is green so i'm going to change this color to a uh, black here you can see you can choose this black color or you can go with this black color okay let's choose uh, this black color here and after that you just simply need to click on okay now we are going now we are ready to draw our first grid so what i'm gonna do is i will se uh, select this point i will take mouse take my mouse cursor and i will draw it like this and you can see the angle is 90 degree the distance is something like this let's draw it here so now you can clearly see that we have successfully uh, drawn our grid line here as you can see here so now that we have drawn this line uh, what we are going to do next is we have to model the another uh, grid line here as well so in that case what i will do is uh, i will press escape so right now you can see that i am at the arrow tool i will select this line and after that what I will do is I will just simply enter Control D and I will select this line and in the middle of it I am gonna select Control again to copy this grid so if you look here at the distance so I will simply enter the D here so first of all I will uh, make this one as 4200 let's enter 4200 let's enter here after that what I will do is I will again enter Control D okay I will select this line and drag it like this and after that I will simply enter control to make a copy of it. Now I will enter D to enter the distance. So this time I will go with 4350. So all these uh, parts is as per the project uh, detail. Okay. And now that we have copied this one as well, what I'm going to do next is I will follow the same procedure. Okay. So this time I will enter control D, select this line and then again control and this time I will set this as 600 enter okay now I will enter control D, select this line drag it like this again press control and this time it will be 6550 let's enter again control d select this line control 3000 enter again control d select this line control this will be 600 enter and again control d select this line control and this one is last one that is 3 13 50 and select enter so as you can see here that we have successfully created uh, this grid okay on this direction you may call this one as x direction so in this way you have to set up the grids but if we look here you will see that right now we have to solve two problems the first problem is that uh, the naming you can see that all these grids is of same name so in order to change that you just simply need to select this grid okay and right now you can see that i've selected the grid in this region grid naming you don't need to go back to the uh, setting of this grid and again then you have to change that you just simply need to select that one go here type b and that's it you just change this name like, like that you can just select this grid go here enter c that's it select this one Okay, so now that we are done with this thing, uh, we have to also sort out one more problem is that if you click on this region here, you can see that these two grids are just touching each other, which is not looking good. So what you can do here is that you can ju you just simply need to select this grid like that. You have to take uh, uh, click on this node and you can just actually drag this node in this direction as you can see here just simply need to click here and you can see that we have successfully moved this one away from this grid c we will do the same thing with this grid here as well so what i will do is i will 
pick up this line and I'm going to move with this one by just like this. Okay. And again, I will select this one here. Okay. At this top and I will select this one and I will drag it like this. Okay. So now you can see that uh, we have seen how we can uh, sort out this problem. Okay. And you can see if you are doing something on this side, it will automatically get updated on this side as well as you can see here. So in this way, you have to create the grid. So I have just completed the grid uh, drawing of the grid on this side. So on the other side, we are going to see in the next lecture. In this lecture, we are going to set the grid uh, in these directions. So for that, what we are going to do is we will just pick up this uh, grid element here. Okay. Just like that. And after that, I will just simply select here or uh, select it like this. Select here and drag it like this. And now you can see that we have successfully drawn a grid on this side. So we will follow the same procedure that we have followed in the previous lecture. We will just go ahead to this arrow mode. Select this one. Control D. Then select this line. Then control. And then let's enter the distance. So this time the distance will be 1500. Let's enter. Then again control D. Select this line, then control. It will be of uh, 15, uh, double, uh, double five, double zero. Okay. Now again, control D, select this line, control. Let's enter the distance. 1000. Again, control D, select this line. Control. Let's enter the distance D here. That will be 4700. Let's enter. And again, Control D. Select this line. Control. Make sure that it is 90 degree. And now let's enter the distance. So this will be 5700. And that's the end of this one. Okay. So you can see the distance here. You can see that we have successfully created the grids, but it's time to change the naming. So from here, I will use the numerical number. So after selecting this, I will go here and change this to one. Select this. Select this one. Two. This. Three. I'm using my uh, scroll wheel to panning around. Okay. Now, right now we are done with this, all this grid drawing. You can see that we have successfully created all the drawings perfectly without any problem, as you can see here. So this is the end of this lecture and this is how you have to model the uh, grid. You can see here. In this lecture, we are going to see about the walls. So how we can uh, do the settings in the wall, how we can model the wall. So for that, what you have to do is first of all, you have to go to design. And let's scroll up and at the top, you will find the wall tool. So let's click on that one. So now after that, let's open up the setting of that by pressing control T from your keyboard. And if you look here, uh, you will see that the home story is selected right now, selected as uh, ground floor, which is current. And if you look at the top link, you will see that the top link will uh, is the first floor. So it means that the wall is going uh, from this bottom to this top of this floor. If you're going to change the height of this uh, first floor, uh, in that case, the height of the wall will also get changed. 
Now, if you look here at these things, you will see that these are some of the objects. If you are going to increase this from, let's say, 300. And if you click here, you will see the wall is going to extend above these floor. That is first floor above 300. Okay. Now, if you are going to enter here, uh, this one as minus 300. And if you look here, you will see that this uh, this one is also going downside of 300. It means that if you're going to enter negative sign, it will go inside. If you're going to add the positive sign, it will go in the outward direction. So I'm going to make this one as zero. Okay. And if you enter a negative 300, it means that we are going to pull that one in that negative sign. Sorry for that one. Let's open control T again. Okay. So now I can see here that right now our wall is minus 300 mm uh, below uh, these uh, first floor. So as you can see here that this is exactly what our configuration is. Now that we have set these things, we will move to this region here. Uh, first of all, if you look here, you will see that the geometry model is straight represented polygon. You can change these settings as per your requirement. The second one is if you look here, you will see that we have these three uh, walls available that is structural. And if you look here at the second one, uh, you, you just simply need to take your mouse cursor and it will exactly tell you what exactly it is. So I'm going to select this one that is generic structure because right now we are just uh, doing the schematic concept design. So we will select this one. And after that, I will from this drop down button here. I'm going to select this generic external cladding okay so now that i have set this thing from here you can actually control the thickness of the wall as you can see here the wall thickness is 300 mm which is fine okay so now that we have done um, the important settings which is required in order to model the wall so from the next lecture we will see how we can model